Lastly, in the service enumeration category, but definitely the most interesting, is the ability to run nmap scripts against a target to gather certain information based on discovered ports and or services that are running. I like to start by using the dash S capital C flag, which will run the default nmap scripts against the target and the identified ports, but nmap scripting goes a whole lot deeper. Nmap scripts are broken down into different categories, and I'll put up a list of the categories on the screen now and a description of the kind of scripts that belong to each category. Some notable nmap scripting categories are the discovery category, which evaluates the accessible services, the exploit category, which attempts to exploit known vulnerabilities against the scanned ports, the malware category, which checks for malware that's infecting the target system, and the vuln category, which looks for specific vulnerabilities on the system, depending on which ports are scanned. So here's what the output of running the default scripts looks like. For port 21, which is FTP, we see an FTP server status. We see that anonymous login is allowed on the FTP port and there is a writable file that is accessible by an, the anonymous login user as well. On port 22, we see the SSH host keys. For port 25, which is SMTP, we see the different TLS ciphers that are accepted, as well as the different commands you can run against the SMTP server. On port 80, we see that the web server has a title of Metasploitable2-Linux, and port 8180 is running an Apache Tomcat 5.5 server. If we wanted to run all of the scripts that belong to a specific category, let's say for example the vuln category, then we would use dash dash script and then the category to run every single script in that category against the server. So this scan here is going to run every single vulnerability script that is applicable to the 192.168.1.103 server. And if there were specific scripts in a category that we wanted to run but not the entire category itself, we can specify the full script name instead of just the category to run just those specific scripts. And if we wanted to run multiple scripts, we could separate them with commas. If you don't know what any of the scripts are, you can list them out by running nmap-script-help and then the category of the scripts you want to run. And this will give you a long list of all of the different scripts that are in the vuln category. That way you could run against our server. We could also just go to the default directory where all of the scripts are placed, which is user share nmap scripts. So let's list out this directory. And here we can see the many nmap scripts that exist that we can run against our targets.